Alright folks, we are back with more Knights of the Old Republic. Um, so we are just going to make a quick pit stop over at Yavin, see if there's any new stock with our buddy there, or if those um, people that were there before came back. And the uh, game just minimized again. Okay, there we go. I don't need to see all of this. Don't need to see all of that. What the hell's going on here? What's going on? Sith interdictor ship. They must have been waiting for us on the hyperspace route. We're caught in their tractor beam. Do you recognize the ship? It's the Leviathan. Okay. Um. Well, that was unexpected. Guess it's just as well that uh, I was recording the trip to Yavin. Yep, that would be the ship we keep seeing with Malak on it. So I guess we're boned. <laughs> Admiral Kareth taught me everything I know about being a soldier. He was a legend in the Republic fleet, and a hero to me until he betrayed us. When the Sith attacked my homeworld, the Leviathan, saw Kareth's flagship, was at the head of the fleet. My family was destroyed that day, and my wife died in the Sith bombardment. Uh, this is your chance to avenge the deaths of your family. It's not the way of the Jedi. Vengeance, anger, emotion. These things lead to the dark side. I'm not gonna do anything stupid. I, mean, I won't throw our lives away in some mad quest for vengeance, but if I get a chance to kill Saul during our escape, nobody better get in my way. Talk of an escape is somewhat premature, don't you think? We don't even have a plan to get out of this mess yet. And I'll admit, it won't be easy. Saul's no fool, and he won't underestimate us either. You can count on plenty of guards watching every move we make. Maybe Admiral Kareth doesn't know how many of us there are on board. We all have special talents. Talents we could exploit so that one of us could stage a rescue. We just have to figure out who has the best chance to avoid capture so they can come and rescue us later. It's a long shot, but it's our only hope. Hmm. About maybe battle? Well... He gets out of this. We'll be watching the three of us far too closely for any plot uh, involving you, me, or well, if okay. we're gonna pick someone to save us. Um. <laughs> HK forty-seven. Woot woot. Um, thinking either mission or HK forty-seven. Mission has all the uh, the demolition, security, and computer skills, though, so she'd probably be the most obvious choice. Though I do like HK-47. Statement. My construction includes a reserve memory chip and backup power supply that automatically kicks in if I have been shut down too long. Deactivate my main circuits and wipe my memory chip. The Sith will take me to the junk heap, and I can come rescue the rest of you after I reactivate. Hmm. Answer. That is possible. My reserve power supply is a prototype yet to be tested, yet I can attempt this task if you wish. Um What about mission? Maybe I can goad the guards into making a mistake. If I get them mad enough, they might put me in a separate cell to punish me. With them focusing so much on you three, I might be able to sneak out of my cell and come rescue the rest of you. Oh, it's too dangerous. It's a risk we have to take, Big Z. I can slice my way free of any security cell. Don't worry. I can pull this off. Mm. This could work. I won't let you down. Hold on. They're dragging us into the docking bridge. <laughs> oh, my, my. Bastila, Karth, and the crew have been taken prisoner as you ordered, Commander. Excellent. Have you searched the ship thoroughly? Admiral Kareth warned me to be on alert for any kind of treachery. We found a young Twi'lek in the back. She's got quite the mouth on her. She swore at me and spit on my uniform. She tried to bite me through my armor. And you should hear what she said about my mother. Admiral Kareth needs to teach her the proper respect for the Sith. The Admiral doesn't have time to bother with some Twi'lek girl. Drag her away to solitary confinement. I'll leave it up to you to teach her 
have a proper respect for the Sith. Well, that seems to be good so far. Karth, it has been far too long since we last spoke. I see the recent months have not been kind in your case. I barely recognized you. But I recognize you, Saul. I see your face every night, even as I promise myself I will kill you for what you did to my homeworld. Did you learn nothing in your time under me? As a soldier, you should understand that casualties were unavoidable. This was an act of war. It was a cowardly act of betrayal. Your fleet bombed a civilian target into oblivion without warning or provocation, and the blood of those innocent people is on your hands. In war, even the innocent must die. The Sith would not accept me until I proved I had truly turned my back on the Republic by bombing the planet. My wife died in that attack, Saul. And for that, I swear I'll kill you. You used to be a man of action, not of empty words. Cling to your lust for revenge if you must, but spare me your tired threats. I've heard them all before. You're an insignificant part of these events anyway. Lord Malak is far more interested in your Jedi companions. He has great plans for them. We will never serve Malak or the Dark Side. The Sith will be destroyed, Admiral Carath, as will you if you don't turn away from this path. Your words are brave, Bastila, but the lure of the Dark Side is hard to resist. Or so I've been told. I wonder if your companion is as devoted to the light as you are. Nope. <laughs> For the right offer, I could probably be convinced to join the Sith. Your loyalty is as fickle as ever, I see. Malak will find that amusing, though I seriously doubt he will want you of all people at his side. The Dark Lord would probably reward me if I just killed you once and for all, but he may want to question you given the trouble you've caused him and the history between you. Um, what are you talking about? Oh, this can't be true, can it? You really don't know what's going on here, do you? Well, I won't be the one to deprive Malik of the pleasure of telling you himself. The Dark Lord will no doubt torture you for information and for his own twisted pleasure. Eventually, you will tell him everything. The Sith can be very persuasive. However, Lord Malik is in another sector. It may be some time before he arrives, so I suppose I will have to fill in for him until then. Activate the torture fields. <laughs> Enough. I don't want them to pass out before I question them. Malik will appreciate any information I can give him when he arrives. Don't waste your breath, Saul. We won't answer any of your questions. I'm sure you won't. However, we both know your friend's loyalties have proven in the past to be somewhat flexible. <laughs> what are you talking about? What is the hell is up with my onesie? It's, uh, it's pretty... I am interrogating you, not the other way around. You will answer questions, not ask them. It is time to put your loyalty to the test. I doubt torturing you will gain me your true cooperation. Your will is too strong to be broken that way. However, even the strongest of heroes has trouble watching those they care about suffering. The interrogation will begin now. Each time you refuse to answer or give me a false answer, Karth will suffer. Oh, darn. Go ahead, torture him. You expect me to fall for such a transparent ploy? You travel halfway across the galaxy with someone and you expect me to believe you feel nothing for each other? I tire of these games. Now I want answers. On what planet is the Jedi Academy at which you were trained? Mm, no idea what you're talking about. Very well. This is the price of your resistance. Ah! Enough. See what happens when you try to defy me. This no, not really. Was a test. Obviously, Malak knew the academy was on Dantooine, and if there's oh shit, <laughs> our fleet. Dantooine is an empty graveyard now. Nothing is there but a smoking ruin and the charred remains of your former masters. I never liked them anyway. A brave front, but your feigned indifference does not fool me. Your masters are eradicated, along with any hope of someone rescuing you. Now, tell me your mission. How were the Jedi planning on using you to stop Lord Malak and our Sith Armada? Mm. We've been sent to assassinate Lord Malak. Don't you take me for a fool. The Jedi are not assassins. They would never devise such a plan. Perhaps you need a reminder of the consequences of refusing to cooperate. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> uh, sucks to suck, Karth. 
can spare him further pain by simply answering my questions. Now I will ask again, on what mission did the Jedi Council send you? You're a sick and evil man. Perhaps another lesson is in order. No! 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 I beg you! Mercy! No! I am surprised he did not pass out sooner. Rarely have I seen someone withstand such punishment and remain conscious. I see I am wasting my time here. When Malak arrives, you will learn my interrogation techniques are considered merciful among the Sith. I will leave you here in your cell with a small taste of the horrors you will suffer when Lord Malak arrives. <laughs> Don't try to move too quickly. You might not be fully recovered yet. Admiral Carroth had his guards continue to torture you even after you passed out. They tortured all of us, though you got the worst of it by far. Saul wanted them to make us suffer. He's become some sort of sadistic monster. The dark side has perverted him, Carth. Once you start down the tainted path, it leads you ever further into the depths of evil. I fear he is forever lost. Um. Blah 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 blah. Don't you ever get tired of being so preachy? This is not a matter to joke about. If there is one thing we can learn from Saul, it's how the power of the dark side can corrupt even the bravest of heroes. So forgive me. Snapping at you like that won't help our situation. I suppose I'm taking the news of Dantooine's destruction quite hard. First Taurus, now the Academy. Is there no end to the killing? Eh. They should have seen the attack coming. Disturbance in the force when the attack came. The fact that we did not is a bad sign. I fear the dark side has grown stronger, casting shadows our vision cannot pierce. I can only hope that some of the Jedi escaped. Rook, Endar, Saar. I cannot imagine all of them being gone. In any case, we've lost our one place of refuge in the galaxy. None of this will matter if we don't get out of this prison before Saw gets back. Eh, yeah, I'm not afraid of him. Saul mentioned that Lord Malak was on his way. I think the Admiral left to prepare for his arrival and to report the results of our interrogation. It is fortunate you were able to resist the Admiral's questioning. The fate of the galaxy could be changed by revealing the slightest piece of vital information. I, uh, I have to confess something. There was a, there was a moment, just a moment, when part of me was hoping that you would tell him what he wanted to know, just to make the horrible pain stop. The only reason I stayed silent was to watch you suffer. You you wanted me to suffer. You enjoyed my torment. I I, I don't know what to say. I, I thought there was a bond between us. Maybe you're not the woman I thought you were. Did you feel that? A disturbance in the Force. The Admiral has sent his message. The Dark Lord knows we're here now. Malak is coming. Well, then we better hope Mission busts us out of here before he arrives. Come on, girlie. Into the cell. Let's go. I haven't got all day to waste on you. I need to get back to my post. Quit crowding me. Sheesh. Of Megamorians, you didn't smell as bad as you said. You think you're pretty funny, don't you? But you're only making things worse for yourself. How come every time you open your mouth to talk, the scent of rancor dung comes out? Maybe a little time in solitary confinement will teach you the proper respect for the Sith. Now get into that cell. Who designed those Sith uniforms anyway? A blind Rodian with a sick sense of humor? No, that's funny. You should tell that one to the torturer when he comes to deal with you. What? You're, you're going to torture me? No snappy comeback this time. The thought <laughs> of torture scares you, hmm? Well, it should. The Sith have ways to inflict pain you can't even imagine. It may be a few hours before your torture begins. We're busy interrogating your friends right now. Hey, I know. You could use this time to think up witty ways to beg for mercy. <laughs> or I could use the key card I lifted from your pocket to slice into the security panel and get myself out of this cell. Works for me. Piece of cake. I wonder when people will stop underestimating me. Oh, okay. I get to uh get to play his mission. All right. You're not Sith. Help me out of this cell and me help you. Oh, 
Why did the Sith capture you? Evil Sith unjustly capture me and my ship. They think we spies. They torture all the crew trying to get information. But we not have any information to give. But Sith not care. They interrogate Captain until his mind snap. Then they grab first mate. Then navigator. They all crazy now. Mind's gone. So sad. But they nothing but animals now. Me lowest rank on ship, but now I'm the only one left. Soon Sith come to interrogate me too. But me not know anything. Me just, uh, me just trader in rare goods. What do you mean by rare goods? You sound kind of shifty. Me minding my own business when the Sith come. Maybe me should just keep it for myself. Wait for a better opportunity to use it. Use it? What are you talking about? Something very powerful. An icebreaker. It gives you access to computers on this ship. You use it to override Sith security programs. Why wouldn't the Sith have confiscated something like that? Not very thorough in search. <laughs> Say no more, I get the picture. Open the cell and me give you breaker. Deal? Um, let's see what I can do. Would you hurry now? Get cards from guard to get me out of cell. Me not want you in this to torture me. Me not want to go insane like others. It's too late for them. I don't escape before the Sith torture break mind. Gotcha. Me knows a good opportunity. You help me, now me helps you. Here, take Icebreaker. It let you slice new computers on ship. Me has turned the breaker to work on the big computers. So you use it on the brig level. It not work anywhere else. Remember, the breaker only good for one use, so you not waste it. You go fight guards, me go and hide now, wait for a chance to get to ship. Alright, so it's a one use slice. Anything in here? Ooh. I'd really like some weapons. Gotcha. Hey, you guys. Simple. Oh, fuck, they're insane. Yeah. 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 Okay. We're just... Oh. Please let there be something in here. Yes. Ah, shit. Alright, don't think we're in combat anymore. Combat suit. Blaster pistol. Alright, now we're... Hey! people were insane, I would have never uh, opened that. Gotcha. At all. Oh, Pazak cards. <laughs> Stealth field generator could be useful. Stealth mode that hides the user. Great, how do I use it? Oh! Shit! Cryo ban grenade? Catch y'all later! Catch y'all later! Fuck. <laughs> okay. We're uh we're just gonna go this way, I think. Ah shit. Ah. 
Come on, mission. There we go. Okay, this uh, can apparently use the ice breaker. You see activity on the screen. 99 computer spikes. Um, access security cameras. Let's see, barracks. Ah, that's, that's what I accidentally stumbled into. Um, cell block. I already did all of that. Detention area. Medical. Droid maintenance. I guess that's where HK would be if he... System commands. Um, I'll take the area schematics. Yeah, whatever. Okay, so let's see here. We're right there. What is that? Detention. Elevator. Droid maintenance. So that's where we probably want to go. You want to stay away from there. Is that elevator? Alright. This way. Damn, if I'd known that I had actually had to play as the, uh, person I probably probably would have picked someone who was a little bit more combat focused such as Candrus or Candrus probably would have definitely been the what is that medical medical supplies yes Okay, good. Some med packs. Good. Patient gear. Nothing. Droid upgrades. Yeah, so this would be if, uh... we were HK-47, that'd probably be if we were, I don't know who, somebody. Alright, detention terminal. Okay. Equipment storage. Gotcha. Darn it. Impossible. Hmm. Lame. Uh, cell door. Cell door. Gotcha. Darn it. Possible. I probably have to use that computer in the middle. Gotcha. Darn it. Possible. Right. All right. Unlock it. Good job, mission. I know you wouldn't let us down. When we get out of this, I'm gonna see that you get a medal from the Republic for everything you've done. Now, if I remember the layout of the ship. Our equipment should be in a storage chamber just through the north doors. After we grab our stuff, we need to get to the main bridge controls. The bridge is the only place that we can open the docking gate to the hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. We have to open those gates before we can fly out of here. We better get moving. I can feel the darkness of Malak's presence oh, look, there's Candrus. And I don't want to be here when he arrives. None of us is a match for the Sith Lord. Eh, I'm not a frame of... Well, that's... Blaster. Surprise yeah. and secrecy will serve us best. A small group might have a better chance of sneaking onto the bridge undetected while the others make their way down to the Ebon Hawk. Count me in then. I've got a score to settle with the Admiral before we get off this ship. And I have a feeling I'm going to find him on the Leviathan's bridge. <laughs> I'm coming to. Good idea. The others can get to the Ebon Hawk on their own, but Karth and I might need your help. The three of us will get our equipment and make our way to the bridge. The rest of you head down to the docking hangar where they've got the Ebon Hawk. You'll have to find a way to deal with the guards. Don't you worry about that. I know how to deal with the guards. They won't know what hit them. Alright, good. We'll meet you there as soon as we get those docking bay doors open. 
just make sure the hawk is ready to fly when we get there. And then may the force be with you. Still have to get our equipment. Because we don't want to be running around half naked. Or in my case, in a very peculiar red and black onesie. Like, what the hell is this? Oh, look, there's that environmental suit. Footlocker. Bandolier. Backpack. I better have, like, all of my stuff. Locker. Bunch of credits. There's everything. Oh, my precious. <laughs> oh, Bast will automatically re-equip everything, it looks like. That's cool. Um, where did North Bandit's fiber armor go? Regic's armband, then we want the, uh... Sith energy shield. And for this we want... Not that. Not that. Not that. We want that one, yes. Um, reflex, reflex, Bregex belt. Mm. We want Bregex belt. Head. I don't actually really need this because I, I have the mind affecting thing. Though the bonus focus for lightsabers would be nice. That just gives me an extra plus to hit. Resist 10 or Sonic. What is this? Stealth. Will plus 2. Immunity to poison. Eh. I'll equip this. Hands. We had uh We had these implant we had Take the dexterity one. Alright, we're back in business. Now uh, unfortunately we're stuck using Karth. So I have to level him up real quick. Alright, there you go. More strength. What were you even doing? I don't know. Mm. Sure, he used two guns. Creed injury, I don't fucking care. <laughs> Looks like you were going for power blast, so Let's stick with power blast, I guess. Mm. Give you some toughness or treat injury beats. some basic implants. And boost your intelligence again. Uh, hey, you have two points to spend now. So I guess intelligence determines um, how many skill points you get. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I guess that's why what's her face gets bucket loads of them every time she levels up level two in lands Jesus Christ man 
Alright. Level 3 implants. How many more levels do you have? What is this? And you get an extra feat at every level. Christ almighty, man. Uh, more saving throws. Alright, we're done. Do you have anything... Clothing. We will give you this. I don't really want to give you much else. Yes. Hmm? I don't like you very much, Garth. You're annoying. Alright, so I guess... I have to get over to that elevator now. La 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 la. Run all the way. Maybe. Come on. Why are you so slow? Ready. What can I do? Bastila, you have all your stuff equipped, right? Yeah, you got all the goods. What? No, no, no. We're not going back. We're going this way. We are going to the elevator. Though I think we are going to uh we're gonna call the episode before we Oh, well. This is Candorus. We're at the Evan Hawk. Like we figured it's under heavy guard. But don't worry, we'll figure out a plan to take care of them. Alright. So as I was saying, I think we're gonna call it an episode here. Um as we are just past the 30 minute mark. So um very unexpected twist as I or I was planning to just go to Yavin and then on to Kashyyyk but well here we are so thank you for watching and we will see you when we return in the next one